What is your reason for not having a child? Sometimes I snap pretty bad when I'm overwhelmed and I'd hate for a kid to be put through that. I mean not that I'd do anything to the kid, it just wouldn't be fair to child for me to just freak out and become a sobbing pile on the floor. Sometimes I think I'd like to have a kid, because it would be fun to go to a museum and teach them things, and all the little holiday traditions would be fun to pass on. And I love seeing what things they build with Lego or what funny shit I could pretend they said for Twitter clout. But then sometimes I'm so overwhelmed by my own broken brain that I guess it's good there's no kid around. Although if I had a good partner I think that would help. I just don't think I'm fit to raise a child. I wish more people would assess themselves realistically and act accordingly. I have a lot of respect for people like you who know what their limits are. There are so many children who suffer because the parents are overwhelmed and regret their decision to have a child. It's unfair. I don't really know you and don't know if you aren't too harsh on yourself. I am not judging you. I just found out my grandma was married at a younger age than I am now. Apparently my grandma and late grandpa were high school sweethearts. I'm old enough to drink and I've never even been in a serious relationship. Guess times change. Back in the 50s 60s it was just normal for some to skip college and go straight to the chapel. I can't afford to give a child the quality life I want for them yet. Edit. I think it's important that everyone remembers that quality life may not mean the same thing to everyone, and there are multiple factors that influence quality of life. Some people may feel financial pressure because they can't provide basic essentials, while at the same time, some people may feel the same pressure because they can't provide a private school education. Some people may feel they don't have quality time to dedicate to raising a child and might be putting their career first for a while. Some people may have moved multiple times in their lives and will only feel secure when they have a stable home to provide a child. You do not have to be rich to have children, but you do have to be in a place in your life where you prepared to provide for them, love them show up for them, and help them when they need it. This includes making sure that one's self is also mentally and emotionally prepared to make that commitment and follow through. It's not just money, it's not just time, it's not just assets or liabilities, it's not just mental health, it's all of it and it looks different for everyone. Please keep your judgments to yourself. The constant, everlasting thought that my kid Kids will be treated the way I was my entire life growing up. The last thing I'd ever want to see is my kid coming home either crying or sad every day from school cause he was pricked on again. My parents never paid attention to how I was as a kid and I ended up consistently picked on, and with no family in my school either it made it hard to not be attacked, whether it be racial just cause of how I looked or how I acted I guess. Regardless, it had hurt me to bits seeing my child have to go through that, as much as I'd love to have one to see how it is to be a real father. I don't think it'd be worth their suffering. Money, time, no desire at all. My mom used to say having a child is like getting a tattoo on your face. You better be damn certain you really want it. ETA. Holy shit. Thanks for all the updates and awards. You guys are awesome. To answer a few questions. I'm 43 F married for 14 years. My husband and I are on the same page. My mom first said this to me and my sister when we were in high school. So mid late 90s. She probably read it in a women's magazine. She was a teenage mom and really pressed into my sister's heads that becoming a mom cannot be taken lightly. She was a great mother who unfortunately died in 2010. I'm glad something she told me 20 plus years ago still resonates. I was really sure I wanted one, and it was like people were trying to talk me out of it. You have so much time on your hands. There is no good answer to why do you want. Not want kids no one respects your decision no matter which one you choose. Edit. I had people saying but you have your freedom bitch I'm 35. I am done partying. I want a family now. Mind your business. I'm fundamentally a selfish person. And I believe raising a child properly requires unselfish behavior. Another question I think people should ask is if they would be emotionally prepared to raise a severely disabled child. If the answer is no, then you should approach having a biological child with more consideration. 
This is a good reason, my wife and I had our first child unexpectedly, unintentionally, and it was a big transition to making them our first priority. I know many people who were in the same situation and did not make that successful transition into making their child the priority. Most of those people don't have their children anymore, either with a grandparent or the other parent is raising the child on their own. I've chosen not to pass on my mental and physical health problems. I can see negative traits from both my mother's and father's family and decided not to continue the line. I do, however, want to adopt. Alongside my unwillingness to curse a human with my genetically passed ailments, I also want to care for a child that has been left or abandoned. They need love before I create something that needs love. Friend I totally get where you're coming from. My side is schizoids uncle, cousin, brother. Also depression all over the place. Also, I honestly believe any child that I bring into his earth at this point, has a pretty decent likelihood of either dying of famine, natural disasters, or nukes. Climate change is happening faster and faster, and it's going to snowball soon and get very bad. By soon I mean like... 100-200 years if we're lucky every year, though, is a new breaking record of omissions. China gives zero fox, neither does the US. At this point it's over, at least I'll probably have passed before the worst of it. Felt this 1 million percent. My mom struggles with mental health, but had to admit her into a mental hospital in 2019 while I was still under her roof and that same year one had a miscarriage. It was super fucking traumatic to see my mom become the way she did, and I tried and tried to get her help, to help her myself, get her to therapy, meds, anything. But she has always denied she has a problem. Now after not living with my parents for two years I'm terrified to have kids. Although I think I want them, but I don't want to be like my mom. So I'm in therapy, on medication, and doing everything I can to not end up like that. And not being convinced I'd be a very good parent. People look at me funny when I try to bring that up, because I think most people feel if you're not a bad person you should be a good parent. But I don't agree. You have to be so patient and committed to raising you kids in order to be a good parent. And I just don't see myself being able to do it. Also, it's not hard to find stories of how bad parentage completely ruining a child's life well into adulthood. And it doesn't even require the parent to be abusive or anything drastic, just not be fully committed to parenting. Maybe you get a little distant, or you don't really to put in the effort in the early years. That shit can have lasting effects on a kid. The second part is the reason I still don't have children. Had my share of relationships where baby fever almost changed that, but I just let it end. I do understand how guys get roped into having children when they probably would rather not though. Also most of my 20s I couldn't point my finger on what I resented about my own parents and didn't want history to repeat. Plus I had a bit of a drinking problem. I'm about to get married again and we basically decided we might have kids but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen and I'm at the point in life where I'm okay with it. Same here. The first time I said I don't want kids I was 13, I remember this vividly, it was around the same time I declared my atheism, another dreadful sin in my country, my entire life I have been hearing how I will change my mind, I am now almost 35 and I want kids less than ever, which was not at all, I don't care for them. I don't think that's my legacy and I don't want a mini me in this world, I am fucked up as it is enough. No need for another poor soul to inherit this shit. Myself, F31, and fiancé, M33, have been together 12 years, no kids. Within past few years we've both finally got jobs we've been working towards and a nice income. We like our life. Being able to go away for a night or two or out for nice meals as we can afford it. Then have quiet evenings watching Netflix. Neither of us want a child enough to actually have one. We talk about it frequently to check we're on the same page. Working well for us. I believe you should only have a child unless you truly want to and I just don't have that desire. Raising a child just seems like constant anxiety and stress to me. I like having my own space and life. 
Watching my older siblings raise their kids seems like a full-time job with very little benefits. Plus giving birth terrified me. I've heard too many horror birth and pregnancy stories. If I had a kid followed by postpartum depression with my already existing mental health issues I'd be an endangerment to that kid and myself. I see more cons than pros. I'd rather have dogs, cats, goats, chickens, a mini donkey, and a horse. Prioritizing my own mental health, that alone is probably a labor of a lifetime for me. Ending the cycle of generational trauma my family has passed down to me. I'd rather spend that time, energy, and money giving to other people who need help. Not passing down traits of alcoholism and mental health disorders. It's a moral choice for me about not putting another human into a world stumbling towards an impending environmental crisis, though I don't judge people who have children. Expenses, stress, responsibility. I have a lot of mental plus physical problems, so it wouldn't be fair to give that down to her or him. In this world, no thanks. I don't want him or her to worry about the changing climate, upcoming wars etc. And I like to do what I want to do, anytime I want. Forgot to add, I work myself to death every day and for what? The possibilities of cancer or other fucked up diseases. The society of today is moronic. I spent many years in school getting stressed out and bullied for nothing since I don't use anything I learned there. Why should I send them there then? I like my money and free time. I like my body and don't want to go through pregnancy. I don't like kids, except my nieces and nephews. I get really irritated by baby whales. This world has enough people. It's kind of weird to think that people want kids. The better question might be, why do you want this? Nothing sounds enjoyable about it. Sam are out here depressed as shit. Dads are working late to not come home. Why does anyone want a kid? It's such a foreign concept to me. There's a lot of these archived. I'll say it again though. Unless I can guarantee the best education, environment, and as many advantages as possible I find it personally immoral to yank someone out of non-existence just to have them roll the dice at maybe ending up lucky and having a good life despite everything. There's more reasons than that. But that's the big one. And before the knee-jerk reply happens, I find it immoral for myself to do it. Feel free to not justify your life decisions against mine. Many many reasons. 1. They're very, very expensive. If I had a kid, I would have no money for myself. 2. They are time-consuming. If I had a kid, I would have no time for myself at all except at work. 3. They are loud. My mom is partially deaf in one of her ears because of my sister. 4. They could turn out bad. Even if I was the best parent in the world, and have them a completely normal upbringing, they could just be a psychopath, or have a mental disability where I would have to take care of them for my entire life. 5. I just don't like kids. Don't get me wrong, kids are cute. But I would rather be the cool uncle that appears at Thanksgiving that everyone likes. I wanted to be a mother my entire life. I've struggled with self-love and due to this settled when I met my now ex-husband. After getting married and not conceiving I started seeing a fertility doctor. Many tests later it was determined that despite my cause I was able to conceive. So on to my husband's turn, he literally only had to deliver sperm to the doctors but managed to find every excuse not to. Flash forward a few months and I find a large bag filled with tiny wax paper envelopes on our counter, all empty. After googling I determined they were empty heroin baggies and with the help of his mother and uncle, father not in the picture. We held an intervention. My ex-husband then spent the next six months in rehab out of state paid entirely from our savings since our insurance sucked. Once he returned home he relapsed, bled out bank account dry and eventually gave my brand new car to his drug dealer for payment on a debt. I was out of the country for work at the time and was unaware of this until it was too late. Four years later and we're now divorced and I have no desire to ever be in a relationship again. So, my reason for not having kids, this world is too messed up and I don't want to put anyone through the pain of having to deal with it. Personally, it hasn't been the right time yet. 
I was seriously starting up the foster parent process before the pandemic and then things got weird. I was worried about job security and didn't want to bring an already vulnerable child into that situation. Now that things are more stable I'm looking into it again making sure I'd have a good support network and that I'm mentally and physically prepared to be there for a kid who has been through trauma. I don't want a biological child because I have no desire to be pregnant. And I worry about brining a kid into the world right now. I feel much more called to parent, not necessarily have a child of my own blood. So foster parenting and adoption are the routes I've chosen. Oh man so many reasons. I love my freedom. Unlike a lot of people I am able to occupy myself and live by myself easily. I think a lot of people have kids purely because they don't know what else to do with themselves. Genetic issues. Bad depression runs in the family. Due to the above, I'm 33 and never really had a real relationship. It would take a lot to go from that to kids within a reasonable genetic time window. People always envision the ideal situation how the kid will be, how life would happen around the kid. They don't think about what would things be like things didn't happen the way you wanted. There's too many goddamn people in the world already, like, for real. It's not just a colloquial anymore. Stop. I don't have the money to do it right. Obviously the kid might not share my perspective, but I often wonder if I would have even chosen life in this world over not. Way too much responsibility without an escape route. The idea of permanent life-changing decisions that aren't obviously good frightens me. Personally I've had a real shit life and there's no way to guarantee my kid wouldn't have a similar shit life. I could do everything in my power to give my child a good life and still come up short. The planet is dying, we live in a dystopia, and my family has a history of major mental and physical health issues. Frankly I don't like the idea of making choices for another sentient being. If I could have been given a choice between being born and not being born, I would have taken the latter. Slight correction. Lifetime commitment. Yeah, I have two kids and an attitude that really irks me are people who want to just cut the cord when their kids turn 18. I appreciate that maybe you don't want a 35-year-old child living in your basement playing Call of Duty who can't support himself, but maybe the attitude that someone who just graduated high school should be able to fully support themselves isn't helpful. I don't know if I will or won't yet because part of me would be proud to have kids. But reasons why I'm considering not having kids are, kids are expensive. I've grown up in poverty and had to miss out on so many things other kids around me got to do, going to Disney, or family vacations in general. Other kids didn't even know what Operation Santa was, other kids got to join sports teams, etc. and I wouldn't want to put them through that. In today's society, that shit is valued. I was heartbroken repeatedly as a child because we couldn't afford to do anything. To this day, as I am 21 years old, my parents have never gone on vacation. I have been, but only with friends and they were simple things like going camping. I have so many things I want to do. Travel, keep my friends close, or just be able to simply not have the responsibility of needing to wake up early to cook breakfast or not being able to attend plans because of my responsibilities. It's a shitty world. It'll probably end much sooner than some of us would like, and even if we somehow reverse climate change, look at today's politics. Politics mean a lot in my family, as we are a family of immigrants and LGBT people. In a way it's getting better. But emotionally, it's harder because of social media and media in general. The planet is dying. Edit, to clarify, I'd love to have kids. Being a parent is something I would love to do. I'm just not optimistic about our survival odds as a species due to climate change and don't think it's fair to bring another life into this shit's to warm when I, myself, can't even see a light at the end of the tunnel. That would be irresponsible and kind of a dick move. In my mind, I'd much rather just try the wave carefree knowing I won't be causing anyone else to suffer an entire lifetime on a planet that's slowly becoming more and more inhospitable. My younger brother was very obnoxious and bratty growing up, and still is, and I spent many years feeling frustrated and angry when I should have been happier. I know not all kids are like this. But I just have a firm stance that I don't want to risk going through that again. Selfish, yes, 
but I think it's better for my own health. I don't hate kids, but I've opted to just not have any. 